volleyball wasn't really big where I came from. It was all about basketball and track and, you know, football, baseball. So it was really different. I played in high school and then my club coach, who ended up being my high school coach because she started to work at our school, she saw me and she was like, I see potential in you. I need you to play club and, you know, I, I think you have a future in this and, like, I know you have basketball, but you still have another door open. I used to think that she hated me because she stayed on me. She was like, do this, do this, I did something wrong, run. And I was just like, ugh. And I was like, why am I here? I can play basketball, I don't have to listen to any of this. And then I started to realize that she only did that because she saw the potential in me and she saw what I could do and what I could, you know, like what I could do and what I could make this my future. I never would have thought that this was where I would end up. Like, that wasn't my dream. It was always like, oh, I'll be playing basketball somewhere because that was the thing. And I got looked at in basketball, but volleyball was just, it was something like I just couldn't live without it. Like, I had to play it. So volleyball was my thing. And then Ole Miss was the first school that saw me play. We were in the corner by the bathroom <laughs> in the middle of nowhere in the gym. And they started looking at me, and they started sending me letters, phone calls, and it was just like I felt it. Like, they were at the top of my list from then on. Then I came on my visit, and I just fell in love with the campus, fell in love with the team. I just felt like this was where I could make my new home, and that's what I wanted in a school. And I got here in January, so it was like, I had two weeks from high school. I finished high school in December, had two weeks off to say goodbye to my family, came straight to college. And it was just like, whoa. <laughs> like I went from high school classes to college classes and different times and schedules in a whole different environment. The people are just always happy. <laughs> like they're every day, it's just, you have different people coming up to you telling you, hey. I think my biggest like transformation was from high school volleyball to college volleyball, the speed is a whole lot different. I came from high school playing all around, a six rotation middle. Some people don't belong in the back row, so. <laughs> and then here I stay in just the front row. The, it's a, the speed is different, the setting, the passing. You have people who's almost your height. Well, I never found anyone bigger yet, but they're close to it, <laughs> really large. Um, so it's just like, it's just fast. It's just everything is just coming at you at once. So it's like, you gotta think. You either gonna like, give it your heart as you know, try hard, or you just gonna give up. She's like really like her, she's a combination of me and Kata, and she's like a really tall athletic middle. So last year we were so middle heavy. So I see this opportunity it's for her to play in the middle because she's big and I could go right side so we can split up our offense and have more options. I'm constantly trying to help Taylor and make her better and bring her up to speed because she would dominate because she's naturally tall, but at the SEC level, it doesn't matter. Like you gotta know your stuff, you gotta work hard, you gotta get in reps because it's so quick. So I just really try to create an atmosphere where we're all friends and we're all fine and it should never be like negative competition because it should be fun, it's fun to compete. Her just being such an open-minded player, just like me telling her one thing, she'll fix it. Like, so it's like such a big help. Like Taylor just like a little mini me, like she just, she just want to be great too. No matter what's going on, no matter the circumstances, I want to give my all. I want to give 100% no matter what. Hurt, sick, no matter, like, just give it my all. Come in the gym willing to work, willing to do anything, make sacrifices for my team. And I just, I have this feeling that we're going to make it far this year. Like, I have that feeling. It's a gut feeling. Usually right, so <laughs> we're going to make it far. <laughs>